Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Authorize.net to WooCommerce in 2023. So we're exploring how to seamlessly integrate Authorize.net, which is a widely used payments gateway with your WooCommerce store. So if you're ready to offer secure and reliable payments processing, stick around and let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of connecting Authorize.net to your WooCommerce store. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and set up an authorized.net account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and here you'll have to type authorize.net sorry and hit the enter button once you do so this should take you into the home screen or main screen of authorize.net so if you have an account go to the top right corner and click on sign in to sign in into your account if you don't you'll have instead to click on get started to create a new account for yourself if you don't know nothing about that also right .net, you can first of all scroll down and read more information about it. as you can see you can even see this one minute 30 seconds video on how to use this as you can see we can help you get paid via american express apple pay visa paypal mastercard and a lot of other options you can see so this is accepting payments so this will just uh, make you have a general idea or will make you familiar yourself a bit with the website so for me i'll just go here and click on get started example to create an account so you can sign up for a recommended all-in option or as a payment gateway only of course for this there is no setup fee for this there's no setup fee also so of course for this the monthly gateway 25 25 uh, this will take from you 2.8 percent plus 30 cents uh, per transaction this is 10 cents daily a batch fee 10 cents uh, this will uh, see included plant features below and see included plant features below so choose whatever suits you i'll just choose this one as an example and they will take me to another page so i'll have to wait until the page is opened and as you can see here you will have to fill all those informations of course if you choose like maybe this one you you will have of course another thing as you can see it's kind of the same so it's like nothing uh changed but other than this one will have a business name and location added and this one like will have it also but this will have like other informations that you will have to add not like this one so just log in into or create an account depending on whatever you want or as i said if you have an account just go and log into it and yeah you will be good to go now what you'll need to do is simply go and install the woocommerce plugin of course like in here and like authorize.net so just go as an example open like woocommerce website or woo.com meanwhile of course i'll open my local host so in here of course just go and to your plugins of course you'll find this right here as you can see you'll find like the woocommerce in here so you'll be able to go and access that as an example if you want to and see how it's working and how if everything is working correctly but what we'll need simply is just to go to this plugins on this left panel as example go to plugins click on add a new plugin in here once you do so you'll be taken to this page so here you'll have to go and look for authorize.net so go for look for that and as you can see we'll find here like authorized.net payments gateway for woocommerce we'll find here contact form by wp form drag and drop website builder forward yeah we don't want this so we can like get this one or this one as you can see uh, this one has like 10,000 plus access installation so we're just going to get that as you can see authorized like page main gateway integration for woocommerce to so accept credit card directly on wordpress e-commerce website so of course if you want to see more details click on that and as you can see you can see the descriptions about that installation how to do it exactly so if you want to frequently ask questions change log reviews of other people and yeah that's it so once it's installed click on activate to activate it of course so allow of course and continue because never miss like an example uh, an update and here you are so about this woocommerce extension you can access the settings and of course the, there's the license for that so for this as you can see so you are using the free pro version uh, of this extension here are features that uh, you will get if you access the an upgrade to the enterprise version 
So you'll be able to process subscriptions, use the WooCommerce subscriptions extension to create and manage products with recurring payments. Payment that will give you like residual so revenue. Residual revenue can track on the countdown, set up pre orders, uh, pay via save the card, so etc. So for me, I'll just go and access the settings of that. I don't care about other, other something is other than that. So as you can see here, we have authorized.net. So we'll have to, of course, first of all, to enable it. Do not let it disable. And then you can choose the title, description. Uh, this enable inside the box mode. You can enable it to test it out once everything is connected to see if it's working. You will have to uh, test that out. And as you can see, you can check the authorized.net testing guide in here. This will display sandbox mode warning on the checkout. So then you'll have in here to go to your, of course, API to go sorry to your account. You will find that at the top right corner. Once you're logged in settings and you'll find an API credentials and keys, go and click on that and copy your API login ID. Then come back here and insert that in here. And then you will get a transaction key with this. Just insert that in, in here. And also you'll get a public client key. Go and enter that in here. Then click on save changes and everything will be connected and ready to use. Now, what you will need to do, as I said, is simply make a transaction, but make sure that you have this enable send box on so you can test everything out. And of course, like, yeah, there is nothing else. So once you set up the payments, make sure to set up any or customize the settings, other settings, however you want. So do whatever you want. Then, as I said, before making your store live, you'll have to enable this sandbox mode on and the WooCommerce authorized.net settings. Conduct a test transaction using authorized.net sandbox environment to ensure payments processing and are functioning correctly. Then make sure to inspect your website's payments process thoroughly and verify that authorized.net payments are seamlessly integrated into your WordPress or sorry, your WooCommerce store. Once confirmed, disable this sandbox mode. And once you disable it, yeah, you can go live now. It just uh, disable it and once confirmed that it's disabled just uh, go live and of course you can regularly monitor your woocommerce dashboard and authorize.net account for successful transactions keep an eye on orders payments refunds and any potential issues or you can hire someone to do that for you so yeah i guess that's it for me in this video uh, congratulations for you you're successfully like connected authorize.net as a payments gateway into your woocommerce store so thanks for joining me today. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more hit for tutorials like this one. So uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, that's it. I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.